Um, we are uh, creating a lifestyle family brand. Give it to me straight, yeah, buddy. Give it to me yeah. straight. Yeah. I believe in you. I know. It's exciting, isn't it? I know. I didn't realize that baking bread, baking like yeast bread, was going to be a two-day affair. <laughs> I've always had that on my list of something I would want to do and I came across a recipe a couple of weeks ago online and I was like, oh, that looks really good. It's roasted garlic and rosemary yeast bread, artisan bread. So, um, of course, I just look at the ingredients. I go buy all the ingredients and I'm like, okay. Last night I'm like, all right, I want to make some bread. <laughs> so, like, you have to roast the garlic fine, 40 minutes. Okay, great. Then you mix all the rest of the stuff together. Then you have to let it sit overnight. So, it, I couldn't even bake it last night. I had to bake, I have to bake it today. So I let it sit out overnight, and not only that, I read ahead to see like, okay, great, well, how do I bake, like, what do I put it in? Because it's gonna be this round loaf of bread. Like, you need a covered casserole dish or a Dutch oven, neither of which do I have down in Florida. So I'm going right now to get that, uh, either a Dutch oven or a covered casserole dish, I'm not sure. Um, I'll look and see what they have. But number one, and number two, um, it didn't, the dough itself from last night didn't rise as much today as I'd hoped it would. So this is going to get this dish is giving it a little bit more time to rise. So hopefully it'll be good. The good news is that um, my sister and her husband, so Wendy and Tom, are coming in town today. They're going to be here for about a week. Very excited about that. They have a place down here. So they're going to stay there. Um, but we're going to have dinner with them tonight at mom and dad's house and mom and dad mom is making um sausage and peppers and red sauce and pasta for dinner so this roasted garlic rosemary bread is going to be perfect provided that it works <laughs> and it's a cold day today this is the coldest day we've had since we've moved here and it's might potentially be the coldest day of the year I'm not sure um, it's it was 54 degrees when I woke up this morning so it's a perfect day to turn on the oven and bake some bread it would be a little bit difficult or a little bit hot if it were an 84 degree day and we were baking bread but so that's what I'm doing um, today other than working I did I put up today's video earlier today and now I'm gonna go head off and get this and then I'm so excited to see my sister and my brother-in-law tonight and Ryan um, is going to join us for dinner I think except for he had plans to go out out with his friends because there's this like market thing where there's a bunch of food trucks and everything on Wednesdays and he was gonna go to that and anyway hopefully he'll come to dinner with us or maybe he'll come with us and then go with his friends later I'm not sure but um, that's what I have today oh, oh my gosh the other thing goodness sakes <coughs> so I had a call this morning um, we are uh, creating a lifestyle family brand um, that is so very exciting so we're, it's it's like more than just merchandise like right now we have a merchandise shop with t-shirts and um, phone cases and cool stuff like that like logo-y kind of stuff but we're going to blow that up I still offer those but blow it up and expand um, to more of a more of a brand that's going to um, provide basically what we're hoping is and what our goal is is to provide tools and resources and um, merchandise and games and um, that kind of stuff to support growing happy healthy families so it is the, the the friend of mine that i'm working with she's a friend of mine now i i met her because she's an expert in the business and now we're partnering and we've become friends she is a genius at at all of this at like creating helping to create like take our idea and what we've created over the past seven years and really expand it into something more than just youtube videos which i think we are more than youtube videos i mean hopefully we are a um, a sense of happiness for y'all and um, inspiration that's my goal but um, but this will take it one step further so anyway so I had a call with her this morning we talk every week and we have been working on naming the brand so if you watched yesterday's videos a uh, video I put through I made a list or read to you a list of some of the different ideas that we had sort of battered around about the name of this brand because it's different than it's the Donnelly's like it's the Donnelly's is our YouTube channel but this brand will be will transcend that and and be bigger and um, more 
more bigger. <laughs> I guess, right? Um, it will incorporate some of our YouTube stuff, but it's gonna be just bigger. So we're coming up with a name for it, and we did some research, and we asked you guys questions, and we have that. So um, it's come down, I think, to the final two. And we're gonna throw it over to our friends at Patreon, um, who are in our fam club, to vote on the final name of what those two are, and we will introduce it to you as soon as that is done. But what we are asking for you guys is we are going to be um, surveying you, and I had said sort of in the in a different video that we were going to be asking you for some information um, so we could determine make sure that we are providing you with what you need and what you want. We don't want to come out and we'll be like, oh, I think people might like this, or I think people might really enjoy this. We don't want to do that. We want to serve you what you feel like you want, right? So we're going to be doing a survey and um, that is going to be released on Friday. So we'll vlog about it, but we'll also um, put it up on the community channel and in the description box below, um, with a video, which actually, since I'm talking about it now, this video is going up Friday, so it might be below there right now. So take a peek, <laughs> see if it's there. So thank you so much for participating in that. We're gonna put up the survey on social media as well, because really this is all about us and our community and our family, so we wanna make sure that we are providing exactly what you're looking for. All right, so let me go back to um, driving now. I'm almost at Home Goods, and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get a pan, and then I will catch up with you guys a little later. Huge success, ladies and gentlemen, huge success. I returned home from the store, and I bought my my very first Dutch oven. I'm not exactly sure how to describe, like I don't know the definition of a Dutch oven. I just know that this is one of them. <laughs> I know they're very heavy. I think they're made of cast iron or they're made of stone or something and they have their porcelain on the outside. Let me see what this says. Yeah, there we go. Die cast iron cookware conducts heat evenly and efficiently, suitable for all stovetops including induction and you can put it in the oven. It doesn't say that here. There we go. It says product can be used in the oven, but the oven temperature should not be higher than 300 degrees. Uh, oh, 572 degrees Fahrenheit. That's cool. Before first use. Okay. So I'm going to, okay. Look at, this is the deal. This is not on. This oven is not on. I just had to put it in there because it's such a cold day today. This is supposed to proof in a warm area and the, oh, I assume that maybe the oven stayed warmer. So this is what the bread looks like. I'm not saying that it's puffed up as much as it should. So hopefully when it bakes it well, but I'm gonna, oh, it definitely puffed up. Look at, you can see this is the roasted garlic, those little yellow things. And then you can see the rosemary. Ooh, okay, I'm a little encouraged, but I have to take it and roll it out. So let me read those directions now and then I'll show you. Beep. I took the bread out of here, rolled it around in some flour a little bit and then created this little mound of dough. I'm really, I have to say I'm 50-50 on it. I don't think it's going to um, blow up enough to be a big, nice crusty loaf of bread, but we're gonna give it a try. I believe in you. I believe in you, Brad. I believe you can do it. Um, but we'll, we'll see, right? All right, can you guys hear Ryan? He's upstairs having his um, tutoring session for math. So I'm gonna head over to Nan and Pep's for dinner. Unfortunately, he's not joining us. He's gonna be going out with his friends tonight to a place. Oh, I think I already told you that. Did I tell you that? Yeah, he's going out with his friends to another place. So um, maybe he'll vlog. Um, otherwise, we'll see him when we get home. But in the meantime, look at how my bread turned out. I'm so excited. I think it looks good. Hopefully, it's like it rose enough and it's fluffy enough inside. But I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna transport it over to Nana's. And I, my um, cousin got me this garlic and Parmesan olive oil, which I'm very excited about. So I'll bring this over and we'll have some bread and dipping oil. Brian came over and joined us, and Aunt Wendy and Uncle Tom. Hello, Allie. Did you miss us, sweet girl? All right, you guys might think it's weird that we let them um, scratch on the furniture. I do. I think it's weird. Did you think it's weird? Yeah. The thing is... <laughs> it doesn't hurt it, though. Like, I, I've seen... They messed up a chair in Maryland. Remember Which that one? little the polka dot chair? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That thing yeah, yeah. got destroyed. These things, though... They don't I'm even scratch on them. No, so that's the thing. I think furniture used to be made that, like, when cats would scratch it, it would mess it up. But these are not mess. Like they, they're fine, right? Yeah. Alice, do you want to take a ride? Look at. Do you like it? 
Hi, Eddie. <laughs> What's happening? Jump on, it's fun. <laughs> All right, so, um. <clears throat> there he goes. Hi, what? hi, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh. oh. pushed it. He did? Yeah, I didn't touch it. Oh, I thought you did. Oh, here we go. Oh. Anyway, do you keep filming the cats? I don't know. Do you want? Talk? Do you want to talk? Okay. What Everyone's you got? not talking. It's like that. Hi. So um, just okay. Uh, <laughs> I went um to uh this little spot with my friends. There were a bunch of food trucks, uh, all lined up on this street. They do it every Wednesday, so we went. Um, got some grub, and then went to Nan and Paps. And um, chilled out there. There's got playoff, more grub. Got more grub. There's uh, playoff baseball right now. So I'm going to watch that and go to bed. But what made me happy today was uh, being at school and it being cold for once. It was, it was weird because it's, you know, I'm like Maryland, this was just normal weather. It's so not supposed to happen it was October, nice right? being in this weather again and um, getting to break out the sweatshirts and all. So. That's really heavy. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Hey, um, do you want to try the bread? I made the bread. Yes. Yeah. Also, uh, we did some Instagram stories answering questions today. Which we're oh, right. I'm, we can I'm mad them. that we didn't continue more of those. Well, I'll come up with you and watch the game. We can answer some more. Want to do that? Yeah. Okay. So the bread is right here. This is the rest of oh. it. Now, I have to tell you guys. Well, I don't want to say it in front of Ryan because I don't want him to be um, influenced. But you guys want to know how the bread turned out. So this is the deal. You can you want to like you can put butter on it or olive oil. I know. Well, a lot. Do you invite the whole neighborhood? <laughs> I can make more. <laughs> or did like I'm missing something? Cause this is a pretty, this is a pretty sizable pot. Yeah. And that. Oh. Um, All right. You know what? I can make more tonight. I actually want to because I want to change it. It wasn't salty enough. Okay. And I don't think I let the um, what do you call it? The uh, yeast like rise enough, maybe or something. I'm not sure. I gotta figure that out. Okay. So I'll make another loaf tonight. Want me to do that? Sure. All right, I gotta. Down for it. But I mean, if you don't want to, it's already ten. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I'll make it tomorrow for the next day. Tomorrow for Friday for when Dad gets home. How about that? Good stuff. Because it's like Dad a two-day, two two day thing. No, he gets home Thursday. But if I make it tomorrow, he gets home late Thursday night. So if I make it tomorrow, then I can bake it on Friday and he can eat it on Friday. Is that a good idea? So what do you think? It's a little tasteless, isn't it? Yeah, I he, some more, more flavor would be nice. Needs more salt. More salt. We slap some butter on this, so it'll be fire. Yeah, but, the, but how do we think about the consistency? A little dense. A little doughy. Okay. All right. That's fair. It's my first yeah. time. First time. No, I don't mind at all. I'm. I give it to me straight, yeah, buddy. Give good. it to me yeah. straight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. Yeah, we're gonna perfect this bread making. We are. And um, would you like to help me? We're gonna get nice with it. Yeah. Nice with it. Ah. Oh, you didn't see that. No, ready? Okay, we're gonna cut this bed making. We're gonna get a nice bed. Nice. Oh, we didn't see that one either. Just put all that in. Okay. <laughs> all right, you guys, what made me happy today was it was so fun to make the bread. Definitely seeing uh, Wendy and Tom and, and Nana Pap and being able to go over there and um, have dinner with them. That was awesome. And I like my new pot. I like my new, um, what's it called? Uh, Dutch oven. Fun. So I'll have to figure out what else I can make. I think I make soup and that kind of stuff in there as well. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Oh my gosh. And my call with holiday and be looking at, oh, comment down below, click the link for the survey so we can make sure to provide, um, whatever it is you're looking for, whatever will help, um, grow your strong, so healthy, excited, healthy family. Actually. About what? About this whole thing. I know. It's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. I know. It's growing very cool. So we came down to two names. Okay. Which I'm not going to tell them right, right now because you're going to, it's going to be like a surprise. Mm -hmm. Okay. But maybe I'll tell you off the camera. <laughs>
<laughs> so stay tuned, you guys. You're gonna be going through this process with us if you decide to, if you decide to watch and, and go along. You're gonna be going through the process with us of making decisions and what happens next and, and how to start this whole thing and looking at pictures and logos and all that good stuff and then products and everything. So um, there, very, well, there will be very few things that will be surprises just because you guys will be in on all of it, but um, but it's gonna be very fun. So thank you so much for hanging in there and comment below what made you guys have a day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.